Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a cartoon wolf. Start by drawing two short curved lines for the eyes. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. Each eye should be similar to the letter C on its side. Pay attention to the distance between the eyes. Don't draw them too far apart. When you get the shapes and positions of the eyes right, darken the lines. As you darken the shapes, make the lines thicker and darker to represent eyelashes. Draw the eye on the left a bit smaller than the eye on the right because the head will be slightly turned. Under the eyes, draw big circles for the irises. Draw the iris on the left close to the right edge of the eye. The irises should take up a big space inside each eye. Draw the iris on the right close to the middle of the eye. Draw the iris on the right a bit bigger than the iris on the left. The shape on the left should be similar to the number 6 on its side. In the middle of the irises, draw small circles for pupils. Shade in the pupils. Pay attention to the size of the pupils in relation to the irises. Don't push down too hard on your pencil as you shade. On the side of each pupil, draw two more small circles for highlights. Draw the circles at the bottom smaller than the circles at the top. Above the eyes, draw two short horizontal lines for the eyebrows. Make the line on the right slightly longer than the line on the left. Below the eye on the left, draw a small triangle for the nose. Make the nose small in relation to the eyes. Curve the top corners of the triangle so that the nose is rounder. Make the bottom tip of the nose pointy. Lightly sketch a curved line around the nose for the mouth and muzzle. The line for the mouth at the bottom should be similar to a curved letter W. On the left side, curve the line up toward the eye to create the muzzle. The top of this line should be very close to the eye. When you get the shape right, darken the line. The middle part of the mouth should curve up toward the nose. Curve the right side of the mouth up to create a smile. Below the mouth, draw a short curved line for the chin. Now draw the furry cheek on the left side of the face using a series of short lines. The top and bottom part of the cheek are made up of short sloping lines. On the left side, draw a few short angled lines to represent fur. Don't draw these lines too far away from the face. Now draw similar lines on the right side for the other cheek but make the shapes bigger. The shape at the bottom should be made up of a long sloping line. Draw these lines farther away from the face than the left side so that the head looks like it's turned. On the top right side, draw a big triangular shape for the first ear. Pay attention to how big this shape is in relation to the rest of the head. Curve the sides of the shape and make the top part round instead of pointy. Inside the shape, draw a long line to give the ear more structure. At the bottom, draw a few short angled lines for fur. To the left of the ear, draw three short triangular lines for the fur that's on top of the head. Sketch lightly at first and only darken these lines when you get the shapes right. Place these lines farther down on the left side. To the left of the fur, draw another big triangular shape for the other ear. 
The left side of this shape should connect to the cheek at the bottom. Make this ear similar in shape to the ear on the right. Inside the shape, draw a long line for structure and short angled lines at the bottom for fur. Below the head, draw a series of short angled lines for the furry chest. The chest is basically a long curved line that's made up of short angled lines for the fur. Each angled line should be similar to the letter V. Pay attention to how much this line curves, don't draw it too far down below the head. Now draw the first front leg on the lower right side of the chest. The leg is made up of two vertical lines for the sides and a short horizontal line for the bottom. Pay attention to the length of the lines on the sides, don't make the leg too long. On the left side, draw a short angled line for the other front leg. This line should be similar to the letter L. On the right side of the first front leg, draw a series of short angled lines for the furry underside of the body. To the right, draw a curved sloping line for the first part of the hind leg. Then draw two short vertical lines for the bottom part of the leg. Close off the shape at the bottom using a short horizontal line. Now lightly sketch a long curved line from the hind leg to the head for the rest of the body. Draw the line up and then curve it to the left. When you get the shape right, darken the line. Under the body, on the right side, draw a small rectangular shape for the other hind leg. Just like before, draw two vertical lines for the sides and a short horizontal line for the bottom. On the top right side of the body, draw the tail using a series of long angled lines. Make the tip of the tail thin and pointy. The middle part of the tail should be wide. The bottom of the tail should be narrow. Now go over the lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. First, outline the fur pattern using gray. Draw a curved line around the eyes and the muzzle so only the top part of the head is gray. Draw lines on the bottom parts of the legs and the tail too. Color the top part of the pattern gray. Color the ears pink and the nose black. Leave a small strip blank at the top of the nose for a highlight. Use dark blue for the tops of the irises and light blue for the bottoms. And that's it for the cartoon wolf. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2 then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time keep drawing.